What's going on guys, Orzy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Winter Wildcard Ebra to review. It's a player that's had an absolutely insane, insane upgrade. Like straight up, he's got 90 pace. 90 pace on an Ebra is something I did not expect to see, but it's something you definitely do love to see. He's also got 89 dribbling with 92 shooting, 89 physicals and 88 passing as well. And on top of that, He's got five-star skill moves. He's got a four-star weak foot. They actually upgraded him from medium-low work crates to high-low work crates, which is such a W from EA. And he is also a six-foot five player with 94 jumping and 99 heading accuracy. So we're not on this uh, Sule kind of level with him being six-foot-five and literally having like 38 jumping. No, we are talking about a six-foot-five player that's got 94 jumping, which means... He shouldn't be losing headers. He just simply shouldn't be. And the thing is, right, this card is not cheap. 2.9 million coins is what I picked him up for. 2.9. I believe that is double Mbappe's price. Double. Yeah, we all know how good Mbappe is this year. So I don't know if my boy Ebra is going to be worth the 2.9 million coins. But the thing is, right, what can this card not do? With the engine chem style applied, he's got great dribbling, great pace, unreal shooting, unreal passing and unreal physicals as well and on top of that he's got the outside foot shot trait like honestly this card stats wise it blows me away like honestly i'm trying to figure out i'm trying to search for a certain stat that may be a little bit you know man let's say a little bit low but it doesn't look like it everything is just i believe is like 85 plus on every single stat and i'm honestly blown away with how good this card actually looks. Now, how good will it perform in game? That is something we are going to have to figure out, man. Like, a six foot five player having those kind of dribbling stats while also having a unique body type is definitely going to be interesting to see. Now, if we are talking about the Lynx, he comes from Sweden, which, I mean, it's okay for Lynx because you can link him up with Isaac, right? But the thing is, all round, it's not amazing. It's not like a French nationality or an English nationality or even like a, a Portuguese nationality where you can link him up with like a João Felix or even a CR7, right? So the links with the nationality is okay, let's say. And when it comes down to the league, Serie A, AC Milan. It's all right as well. It's nothing insane. But the thing is, okay, he comes from obviously a top five league, which is the Serie A. So... The links are nice. They definitely are nice. Now, I have personally just gone for icons just to make it easy for myself. I've gone for Ronaldinho and your boy with Dalglish just to get him on full chemistry. Now, when it comes down to positions, listen. If I'm paying 3 mil for a card, you best believe he is getting placed in that striker position and that striker position only. I'm not playing an Ebred down the line. What's the need? If I'm paying 3 million coins, you best believe he is sitting there in that striker position. The formation I'm going to be using is the 4-4-2. So let's get into the games and let's see how good this Ebra card is going to be. I'm just going to switch this play here. Give it maybe over to Ebra. He was actually trying to make a run there. See how he feels on the ball. That's a very good skill move. That was a very nice shot as well. It's just that is a very hard angle, right? So I really doubt that's ever going to go in. Ebro making that run, realizing where that open space is. Well played. Nice few touches. You see how he feels on the ball? Hold up a second. We'll roll to a scoop turn into the inside. Can we get the finish? Yes, we can. What was that finish? Top bins. Yeah, the keeper had no chance of saving that. Dalglish, are you going to make a run? You are going to make a run. I want to see how Ebro supports me now. Is he going to come short? He is going to come short. Well played. Nice touch as well. Heavy touch there. Very heavy touch. And that's an interesting one. Give that into the inside. Well played. See what I could possibly do. I like how he uses his strength. Like, there's a lot of occasions I am already noticing that he does like to use that strength. And can we get a finish here? Okay. All right. Yeah, this guy's paused it. I, I would as well. I would as well. Is he going to quit? He is going to quit. What a shot. Pass that all the way down. I see you, Kapu. I'm going to pass that back up to Ibra. Go for that scoop turn around him. Can we go for the chip? No way, right? No way, man. What am I seeing? That is a perfect chip. Side netting. Even the player rushing back to the line. Yeah, he couldn't get it. I'm just going to hit this ball all the way over to him. I know he's going to win the header. There's no chance a six foot five player with his kind of jumping ability misses out on a header. And that is such a good skill move there. Look at the pace. We'll roll that. Nah, the touch is just a little bit too heavy. Hold up a second. This guy's not coming towards me. Here with a ball roll scoop. He feels really silky with the skill moves. And that is him using his strength in that kind of occasion as well. You see what I mean with the skill moves? Look at the way he's beating players as well. It's a very tight angle. I wasn't really expecting him to score that. But if he got out on target, it would have been nice. 
Turn into the inside, give that over to Ibra. The thing about Ibra as well is that he's got a really good passing ability. So if you really want to spend 3 million coins on this card, you can literally play him anywhere, can't you? You can play him in that cam position if you really want to. You know his passing ability is going to be top tier. Can I go for a turn there? Nah, the guy read me like an absolute book. Play that early. Him and the McGee's been cancelled. Oh, I tried to go for that instant turn. I can definitely tell though, like his dribbling ability is top tier, right? It's just, it isn't good as someone like Lionel Messi. Isn't as good as someone like Neymar. But what a finish with that four-star weak foot. The guy did stop playing though. Like we're doing this in foot champs and everything and he stopped playing. Get that, nice. Should I just sprint with him? Why not? Look at that pace. Look at a. Who is this trying to catch up to me? Is that David Beckham? It is. Good dribbling. Please, through the legs. Get pop. Miguel's been cancelled? No, it didn't really work out. We're going to do it here, though. Look at the little tight dribbles. Flip flap. Oh, my God. I'll tell you guys, the skill moves with this guy, they come off so good. Zidane, can you go away, please? There you go. Keep it going. Dog leash, well played. I'm going to driven that to Ibra. Good touch. Great acceleration. We're round Baran, and the guy tried to move the keeper against us, and we obviously saw it. First time past that. There you go. Take that touch. Hold the play off. You see how he's holding off Baran as well? He's going to continue that run, and you best believe we're going to through ball him. Come on. Keep it going. I'm just going to take the shot. Yeah, I see him not even bring out the keeper. I see he wasn't moving the keeper this time, so I'm just going to take the shot, and we all know Ibra is never going to miss an opportunity like that. Kapu get around him. Well played. Ibra trying to make those runs in behind. He is definitely a very aggressive striker. But this is kind of expected, right? With his high-low high work rates, you are always expecting him to maybe try to get in behind. And his skill moves do come off really, really nicely. Let's see if we can score this header, though. Come on. This has to be a good delivery. He's against Collins. Ibra? Yeah. yeah. GG, man. GG. It, what does it remind me of? It reminds me of that uh, Ebra card back in the day. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was a flashback where it came out as an SBC and everyone just crossed the ball to him. Just turn here. Nice, good use of pace. Good pass to Ebra as well. I'm going to just use his pace. Keep it going. We'll roll to a scoop. Go back towards the near post. We green time it as well. You see those little tight turns, that nice dribbling. That was really good from him. It's just goalkeeper pulls out a nice save there. And he's moved out the keeper here. Hold up. See if we can hit him towards the back stick. Giving Ibra a decent chance of actually scoring a goal. Go on. This is decent. Ibra? Yeah, it's going to be hard to defend this guy off corners, man. I know I'm going to absolutely hate it. Let's see if we can maybe... Yeah, let's go back stick again. See what's up. Go on, Ibra. Get towards it. There you go. Is it going to be a good header? It's a good, decent header. Not an amazing one, but once again, he's won it. I'm going to use Ibra towards a back stick here. Oh, it's GG. It's GG. No, no, we end up hitting the post. And that all comes down to me with aiming off the, off the what do you call it? The header. That is so disappointing. That is a tactic a lot of people are going to do. Just cross the ball to him. Play it forward. Play it again. Ibra, nice turn. We'll give it a go. It was red timed. I didn't even expect it to go on target. All right, let's give this another go. Hit it towards the near post. Come on, Ibra. That's decent. That's decent. It's green timed as well. Oh, yeah. If I play up against Ibra, I'm going to hate it. Straight up hate it. That was against Varane as well. Like, Varane's not a small player. Give that to Ibra. There you go. Fake shot that. Turn. Nice turns. Go for a smack all the way to the other side. Look at the pass. Look how perfect the pass is over to Mbappe. Good fake shot. Can I maybe get this back inside the box? I doubt it. I have to go back. That middle's a little bit open. Pass that up. Ibra. Touch, turn, finish. No, check. He's actually going to pull off another save. Can we go early? Nah, he's moved him out slightly. Hold up. Maybe if I do this. Ibra, go on. Go on. He wins it every time. This guy hasn't brought out a keeper. Does it? Like, this is Ibra we're talking about. Ibra we're talking about. You have to bring out the keeper. You can't just believe in your Varane. Chip it up there. There you go. Ibra, shield him off. Well played, man. Really good use of strength. And then we use his pace. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Should we kind of early and go for a finesse shot? Nah, he's going to read that. I knew he was going to read it. There you go. Play that pass. Look how perfect. Look how perfect that pass is. To wrap around the defender and everything. Go, Akimi. That's a good run for me, bro. Use that pace. This is against Carlos. Look at the pace, man. Look at the pace to get in front of him. It's just that touch right at the end. Let us down and made it go a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. But the pace, it's serious. Nice. Well played. Messi played that through ball. Is he going to be on? I believe he is on. Should we go for it? This is going to be a chip. For 
Yeah, I'm done with this card. I am done with this card. Like, what am I seeing? He finishes at the most hardest angles. Like, that is a perfect chip. Ibra, come over. Surely he's going to win it, right? Yeah, he doesn't lose headers. He he doesn't lose headers. He just genuinely doesn't lose headers. Like, what is that for a header? L like, it's literally like a chip over the keeper. Perfect into the side netting. Play that through ball. Can I get maybe a touch around him? I'm just going to just use his pace here. That's the thing about Ibra, right? He doesn't just use his pace to get round someone. He also uses that strength. Like, if the person does manage to catch up to him, he'll just hold him off, allow himself to get past them, and then all of a sudden, they have no chance. That's a good run once again, man. Really good acceleration. Let's go for it. Go on. That's a beautiful chip. Yeah, his shooting ability is top tier. There's no other way of putting it. Like, the chips come off so nicely. The power shots, the finesse shots with both feet as well. And it's making people quit. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing six games with Ibra. Five of the games being in foot champs and one of the game being in division rivals. We actually scored 11 goals and we also came out with two assists as well. What can I say? Honestly, what can I say? This is the most fun I have had reviewing a card, hands down, in any, any FIFA. Because he can do it all. I don't have to worry about a single thing. I don't have to worry about maybe certain angles this guy can't really turn in. No, he can literally, literally do it all. The dribbling ability, crazy good, especially with the skill moves. I definitely didn't believe he was, his skill moves was going to come off as nicely as it actually did. His passing ability, come on, man. Take a touch, go for 180, smack it all the way to the other side. It doesn't matter which foot you do it with. The four-star weak foot is perfectly fine with the passing as well. It was landing onto the player perfectly the shooting ability the chip shots wow accuracy power beautiful the headers as well come on man the heading was incredible on this card the pace i was really like happy with the pace because the thing about ibra is that he isn't as fast as someone like wilfred zaha he isn't as fast as someone like mbappe let's say but the thing is with ibra he's got a good amount of pace to his game while also having 91 strength so once he gets ahead of the player let's say it's a kempembe trying to catch up to him he will use that 91 strength hold him off allow him to just keep going in front and obviously have that opportunity to pass across uh, or actually go ahead and take the shot like it's really really good to see now the card is going for three mil Three million coins. The thing is, right, saying that I don't have to worry about a single thing. I don't have to worry about a player not having four stars, no, not having five star skill moves because he's got it, right? I don't have to worry about a weak foot because he's got four star weak foot. Then I don't have to worry about literally everything. He's got pace. He's got shooting. He's got passing. He's got dribbling. And he's got physicals as well with an amazing, amazing head heading ability. It's like, I would honestly happily pay three mil for this card. I would. I really would because we have to understand, right? Yes, you could be obviously comparing his price to someone like Mbappe. And that is definitely understandable, especially with how popular and how good Mbappe is this year. But then you have players like Prime R9 going for like 15 million coins. Extinct, I believe it is, on PlayStation. So I, I'm not going to say I honestly would happily pay 3 million coins for the Zebra card. I really, really would. Now, where would he go in the attacker's tier list? Oh, listen, listen, there's only one spot for him, isn't there? There's only one spot, man. He's going to go straight into the S tier. He's 100% better than, obviously, Ronaldo. I know a lot of people probably will compare him to Ronaldo. So, yes, he is 100% better than CR7. I actually can't believe how big of an upgrade they did gave this card. I genuinely can't. And, yeah, I did say he is the most enjoyable card I have used in FIFA 22. He's so fun to work with. So, so fun. But that is going to be it for the video. So I hope you guys obviously did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.